Hi friends, today we will be looking at how to convert PDF article text to handwritten punk for ease of reading purpose and make it available for thousands of pages using Pandas and Py PDF in Jupyter Notebook with the basic knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So the step one is we can find an appropriate package in language to read from. In this case, I am using Python language and Py PDF to package. Basic approach is uh, I am creating a Pandas data frame that is stores the page number and text of the PDF article. To make it scalable, I am using apply functions. So no for loops. Uh, I am using apply functions on single row or multiple rows at the same time. Step 3, the basic code logic uh, is defined for custom, defined punch size in pixel and punch style like Times New Roman by taking data, all data into account. So I am saving all of the text in corresponding HTML files by giving input article PDF path and output shape directed partition input. To make it scalable, I am using apply functions again in Pandas. So basically we go to demo. Here, but I am importing the libraries. Libraries are by PDF2 and Pandas. Then I am creating a function PDF2 data frame, and uh, data frame will output if it is successfully converted. Uh, I am using handwritten punch to your print script and punch size 51 pixel. So all of the text is successfully converted by extracting text from PDF and uh, shape PDF out folder. Let me show you the folder. Here is the article input. Uh, as you can see, you can read this uh, uh, input by taking the handwritten content. So you can uh, read a small part more accurately by extracting then from the article. So this is it, friends. I hope you like it. So basic logic is I am saving all of the text in corresponding HTML file by giving input article PDF part and output shape directory part as an input. So I am creating a function using apply method. To make the text readable, I am giving large append size. If you want your text to mimic and written content, Google search the content style that you like and give the text an input. You can modify the function to give any other tag other than text present in functions like h1 tag or p tag or h2 tag, anything that you like. To make the text more bold, you can change the color of the text as well. Then I am converting HTML content to bytes and then saving it to files. HTML files corresponding to, to the P number of articles. After doing this, uh, I am closing the PDF file as a part of garbage collection by freeing memory. You can see the output at the as, uh, the report link. This will be shared after the video is uploaded. Thank you.